The Whizzing Roundabout by Andrea Kazmarek Zoe is in a wheelchair. My legs don't work, she tells people who ask. And Zoe can do many things, just like all children, but not everything. Zoe goes to school and plays most of the games, but not all of them. Zoe goes to the playground, and that is the problem. She plays in the sand, she plays catch the ball, and then she watches her friends on the swings, slides and roundabouts. Why aren't there any rides for wheelie kids? I wish, I wish, Zoe tells her mother. What rides do you wish, Zoe? The lady sitting with her mother by the sand asks. Slides and swings and roundabouts, Zoe laughs. But there are wheelchair roundabouts, you know, the lady tells Zoe and her mother. But not in our park, Zoe looks around. Zoe's mother and the lady start to talk. Grown-up stuff, boring. Zoe shakes her head and she finishes off her sand city, which starts her thinking swings and roundabouts again, until Daisy joins her and the sand city gets bigger and better. On the way home, Zoe's mum talks about the lady in the park. Nina, that's her name, thinks a wheelchair roundabout would be a great thing for all the children. We're going to get one. Zoe turned her head and laughed. Are we? And that's what happened, bit by bit by bit. The park man said, yes, but it costs lots. The mothers said, we'll ask people to help. A sign went up. Zoe painted it with her friend Daisy. Help Zoe get her wheelchair roundabout. We need helpers and money. Daisy's dad found a wheelchair roundabout, not new but good, for sale. Zoe's dad found helpers. The lady in the park started collecting money for the roundabout. Oh, said the park man, I can't say no now, can I? If you collect half of the money and everyone helps to set it up, then Zoe can have her wheelchair roundabout. In the next weeks, there were roundabout parties in the park, cookies and juice for Zoe's roundabout, and most people joined in and even gave a little extra. Daisy's dad agreed a price for the wheelchair roundabout, and another dad with a pickup truck went to collect it. A wheelchair roundabout needs a big hole to put it in, so a wheelchair can roll on and roll off easily. So there was a dig a big round hole party and the park man couldn't stop laughing. Zoe, do you know what you've started with your idea? I can hardly believe it myself. And bit by bit by bit, Zoe's wheelchair roundabout was ready. The park man tested it out and it was time for the very last party. The biggest party, the wheelchair roundabout party. Cookies and juice, but this time free. Bright balloons on the roundabout and Zoe's wheelchair. A man from the TV came with a camera and the park was full of children to help Zoe test her whizzing roundabout. Zoe, you have to be the first to whiz around with your friends. I tried yesterday and it is fine but that doesn't count, the park man laughed. And so Zoe's mum wheeled Zoe onto her own special roundabout. Daisy, Kitty and Sam, her school friends, joined in, forfeit on. And who was going to give it a big great spinning push? The park man laughed. What did I get myself into? and the TV man made a film of the first whizzing spin. The wheelchair roundabout spun and spun, and everybody clapped, and Zoe laughed and laughed, spinning and whizzing, and she didn't want to stop at all. I feel giddy, it's great, my very own whizzy roundabout. I never would have dreamed it. But Zoe's mum shouted, Stop, you don't want to spin too much, and let all the other children take a turn, Zoe. Yes, Zoe agreed, I love my whizzing roundabout. But after all those cookies, I feel a tiny bit sick. Not a good idea. Zoe's mum laughed. Yes, wheelie kids can get sick on a whizzing roundabout too, but Zoe, please, not today, please. The park man laughed too and whispered to Zoe's mum. There's a wheelchair swing and I have a plan, but please, please don't tell Zoe yet. I need a rest. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.